All right, let's start with assembling this lower part of the engine. So, leave these two spacers. Ready to go. There it is. Damn it. Oh, those things are sticky. Okay, so after some initial fumbling around, why doesn't that want to rotate? Clearly something isn't right there. Maybe that's why these things aren't tight. Oh, that's it. So on the disassembly, I was like, oh, these things aren't tight at all. Well, I guess they're not supposed to be too tight because if they're too tight, they put too much tension on that and don't allow it to move. I'm assuming that's just an assumption that those are going to be actually retained somehow from moving and not being too tight. Okay, so this is free to move now. While you do this stuff, you learn as you go. So those are in. They're not snug down because if I tighten them too much, it doesn't allow it to move. Now I've already oiled up this stuff. Let's do a little bit more here. Let's see about just Putting that thing together just like that. Okay. for this. Actually this would be considered the timing of the engine. I'm going to go ahead and throw these three shims on here. So the way you time this engine and as I said there's a really good pictorial and instructions on Mikoa's site also. But what you do is you put your piston at top dead center which is where my alignment mark is. Grab your shim to put back on there. So what you're going to do here is there's only one hole in this rotating valve. And what you're going to do is you're going to put it in there so that you see just a part of the opening here and a part of the opening there. And that's basically how you time the thing. So, I'm going to get my magnifier on here. Top dead center. See a part of the opening there. And I think you can see a part of the opening there. I think I've got the timing off one tooth. So let me 
do this again. Okay, you shims can go off there because you're just irritating the shit out of me right now. I'll put those shims on at the end. There's my hole. Here's my hole to make sure I'm still at top dead center I am. Okay. Okay, I'm timed properly now. Let me see if I can prove that here. Yeah, it's a little bit too much. I can just see the opening there. And here, I can just see the opening there. I think our timing is good. Okay, so the timing seems to be correct. Let's put these shims back in place. Now, the issue I have now is that I do not have a paper gasket here. So, I don't really have any other things, and this is basically all there is to assembling this engine too. Aside from putting the intake manifold and carb on, which is no big deal. So this has been basically about the most uh -oh. elementary or simple reassembly of a four-stroke engine as there is. And since I don't have a gasket, and I really hate to order a gasket from Miko when I don't really need anything else, I think I'm just going to dry this off really good and just use some of my Permatex Moto Seal gasket maker on it and seal it like that and see what happens <clears throat> and uh, we'll just take it from there so hopefully the next videos you see of this thing will be of it running on my stand I just don't know when that's gonna be but seeing as it's so simple to retime even if I'm off by one tooth I can just as easily pop this head off retime this thing and get going again it's almost something you could do in the field except for the fact that you really need to be able to see your openings in there um, but other than that that's really all there is to reassembly this thing it's really a simple little engine and uh, super neat so thank you for watching